Yo, good to you here. And today, my dogs are upset with each other and they're fighting. You done? You good? Alright, great. So, I'm, I'm going to be reviewing The Collector from Mission Breakout, the Disney Parks exclusive, you know, like the statue. Don't worry about it. If you don't get it, get the reference of why why is the collector all golden and stuff. Well, the reason why it's all golden and stuff is because outside in the, in the queue for the ride Mission Breakout at California Adventure, you can find a statue of the collector. Of the collector, because the ride takes place in like the collector's collection, I guess. And there's a there's a statue of him outside and you walk right by it and it's like oh shiny and so Funko was like oh we need another parks exclusive and then they're like what should we make it of and then they're like what about something that originally native from the parks and is only in the parks and it's like special and somebody else is like nah what if we do the statue of the collector outside in the queue and Fred and then the other guy named Bill was like Yes, correct. That is good. It's a good idea to make a statue of a fictional character into a Funko Pop. Which is a little weird for out of all the park exclusives they could choose from, they chose the collector. But you know what? It's fine. It's pretty neat. It's actually really highly detailed and looks really freaking cool. And I really like it. So let's actually get into the review. Um, his hair sculpt, I guess you could call it, is fantastic. You can see like all these ridges that go in and out. And he's got this like really great hairline and it's like all poofing out and going back. And it looks really cool it looks real nice and then they put this nice grayish wash over the whole thing to get its details across that it and make it look a lot more you know like a statue and it really works like that's great he looks like he's actually made out of bronze or metal or something but he's not he's made out of plastic and it's great He's got this real nice shine on him, especially on his face, because there's like no detailing on his face. It's just his eyes, the nozzle, and his tiny little beard, which I like that they added that on there. And it gives this really cool appeal and this really nice shine, making him look, you know, what you'd expect him to look like. He's got this really nice cape with this really interesting texture on it that doesn't look like a fur cape but it looks like a statue trying to make a fur cape if you know that yeah you know what i mean right it's got all these really cool it's got this really cool pattern that goes across it's pretty rough and, and it actually is pretty rough the actual sculpt itself from the cape it looks like it's flown back and it's really cool. It's going over his back over there, and it's got this, like, I don't even know what you call it, but it's got this little piece flopping down. And it really looks like a statue of fabric. It, like a, a statue's version of fabric, which is really cool. Um, he's got his hand, and this arm, uh, his hand's mostly, this arm is mostly covered, and then this hand is less covered, which is nice. He's not completely symmetrical, which is kind of cool. Uh, he's got cufflinks on his hands, I guess. That's not really important, though. But you see the wash really shines here. It makes the hands look really distinct, like they have, like he has multiple fingers. And then, of course, the micro pop of the weird alien thing. He is sitting in his hands, and it looks very cute. And pretty head detailed with this little ridge and little things. And if you've seen, if you've seen a picture of this guy or seen him in real life, um, he looks 
It, it looks just like the little creature he has in his hands, and he looks just like the statue, except in pop form. You can see his, his legs, there's not a lot of detail on his legs, but, you know, neither are, is there any on the real statue. There's a bend there, I guess. His feet are pretty simplistic. He's not even got laces, because he's in space, and you don't need laces in space. Um, the inside of the cape is not textured, like, whatsoever, because, I mean, why would it be? It's not textured in real life. And, why would it, it doesn't really make a lot of sense from Funko Sam to make it super textured, especially since it's, um, it's called, especially since it's, you know, basically unseeable, the back, I mean, you can see it, but, no. Wouldn't make a lot of sense for them to do anything crazy with it. See, he's got this like little ridge or something. Can't really describe that what that is, but he has it. And I really like how underneath his arms, his shirt just has tons of de detail detailings. It's got like a tuxedo kind of style thing going underneath. I don't know what you'd call that, but. Like a space tuxedo with a really cool texture, like leather, te leathery texture on it, which is very nice. A bunch of lines coming through to make it look more like space. Um, yeah, um, it's got some chains going down, and yeah, he's just really cool. He's super detailed, especially for like a statuette. The the gold, the color, the actual color of this tent. Ah! The color that they chose is a very, very nice color, and I do enjoy it a lot. So it's got a nice color. Um, the wash is perfect, makes it look very statuesque. And yeah, he's just super cool. If I had to rate him on a scale of 1 to 10, then. Then I'd probably rate him an 8.5, because he's just so cool. And there can't be any paint flaws with him. But it is a bit of an odd choice for the uh, Parks exclusive to be the statue of the guy outside. He's the Parks exclusive. That's very specific and weird. But whatever. It's fine. It's pretty cool. Um, I wish I'd show some of the more interesting, like... One of the creatures that you see on the ride. But it's fine. So, if you like this guy, I can tell you where you can get it in the parks. You can get this guy um, in the Mission Breakout gift shop while you're walking out of the ride. And you can get it where I got it, which I don't know where else you can get in California Adventure. But where I got it was in Hollywood Studios. And you might be like, what? And I'm going to tell you. I got this guy. Okay, so in Hollywood Studios, in One Man's Dream, if you want it, uh, you can find the Star-Lord meet and greet. Well, if you go through the Star-Lord meet and greet, which I highly suggest you do, it's one of the best meet and greets I've ever done, because it's Star-Lord, and he has a little baby group with him, and it's adorable. There's a gift shop on your way out, and they have, like, tons of these. Like, tons of these. And they're all pretty awesome. Like, look at this guy. He's pretty cool. So, um, yeah. Uh, did I forget to mention that his bobble is really good? It's really good. But, that's about it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, take your think take your thumb or your clicker button or your little mouse, scroll over the like button, and you'll, <clears throat> ow, I actually hit my hand. And then do the same thing with the subscribe button. Just smash it with your hand until your phone breaks. Don't. Don't do that actually, but just touch it lightly and it should work fine. Make sure you turn on notifications if you want to see more. Um, drop a comment in the section below. Uh, I mean, put a comment, comment in the comment section below what Funko Pop you'd like me to see review next. Top 5, let's do like to see me do. And, like, whatever, man. What other videos you'd like to see me do? If you'd like to see me throw a horse 
throw that stuffed animal horse, uh, then comment down below. And if we get 20 likes on this video, then I'll throw around that horse. Alright. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.